Last week, when I made my favorite products for July video, a lot of people complimented me on my makeup. Thank you. That's sweet. I barely remember what I did. I just slapped some stuff on my face, but uh, I'm wearing the same dress. And I did my hair the same way, which I already showed you in that one video. And I'm gonna try to duplicate my makeup, doing the exact same thing, give or take. This is probably gonna be the most disappointing video ever, because I really was just sort of like grabbing stuff and throwing it on. So, so I have my usual foundation, my usual concealer, and my usual powder is usually the e.l.f. high def powder, but I ran out. So, so I substituted the Lancome dual finish and I have no glasses on, so I can't see what color it is, but it's, you can tell, it's not something that I use a lot. Um, it's a little heavier than I like, but, oh, I guess I'm supposed to, supposed to act like a pro and cover that mirror up. Oh yeah. So this is what it, this is what it is. I don't use this a whole lot. It's a little heavy for my taste, but uh, for camera, it's certainly fine. And um, it's doing the job today. Disappointing item number one. This is a palette that I bought at Costco about two years ago. And most of the colors are too dark for me. You can tell which ones have been my favorites. This one, this one. I used to have red hair, so I didn't wear the pink very much. This is a lovely color, but it's just way too extreme for me. Um, that fell out. The lipstick, who carries the lipstick like this? It's, it's like you can put it on once, but you can't retouch it up. So palettes are great ideas, but they don't always work well over the long term. Anyway, so I use this sort of, it's like a vanilla peachy color. It's a barely anything, just sort of a peach tone. So I'm gonna start out with this little peachy pink color and I'm gonna just put that on over the whole area. I always like to start with just a really soft color across the whole area. I just find that everything else blends better and adheres better. If I don't start with that base color, it seems like the dark always just ends up too dark on me. So lash to brow. I do have a little bit of my brows on already, the same one that I have been doing. The, uh, well, if I don't have it in front of me, I sure don't remember it, do I? It's the NYX NYX Micro in the taupe. There, I remembered all the pertinent details. In the holiday, I'm not working very hard, clearly. <laughs> okay, then I went with this pink tone. And I just fully saturated the brush with the pink tone. Break out the mirror for this so I can see what I'm doing. And I just kind of went the same shape that I almost always do, but it's just such a light, soft color that you barely, barely notice it. I was very pleased with these Borghese eyeshadows. They feel really, really velvety. I'm not sure if they're still available. I'm not sure if you can find them individually online at Amazon, but the Borghese has a really nice texture. It's very velvety and soft. So there is my incredibly subtle pink on the eyelid. Then I'm gonna jump ahead and do some blush because I'm looking a little dead. And I went with the same blush that's in here. I don't usually choose this blush. Usually I go with the NARS Orgasm because it's got just that little bit of a peach to it. This is a little more pinky, but clearly I've been into a pink thing lately. We'll probably be switching out of that. I get bored easily. <laughs> but we're gonna go with the pink today. And the, the colors are written on the bottom of these, so I will drop the links down below. I don't know if any of them are available anymore, 
but I will give you the information and uh, you can do with it what you will. So a little pink right on the apples of the cheeks. Very, this is an, a bright color for me, so I'm very, very light handed with it. And at this point, I looked at my makeup last week and I went, but I was still like all in love with the whole like pastel pink thing. So this is bourgeois, bourgeois, bourgeois. Yeah, we're gonna say bourgeois. Anyway, it's a, a pinky tone with a lot of shimmer to it. One thing that I have noticed, um, I've been using an eye cream that, that tightens up the, the skin and I've noticed that, I'm back to wearing shimmer eyeshadow, so that's kind of exciting for me. There's not much left in here, a little bit on there. And then I just swept that across the lid. Just to give it that shimmer. And here are the two colors right next to each other. You can see very subtle difference. No clue if any of that's going to show or not. But let's do the other eye. I find that as eyeliners go, when I'm doing a very soft, soft pink like this, I don't want to do a harsh line on the top. I want to keep it very, very soft, but I still want to define the eye, eyelashes. So I want to define that lash line. Otherwise I look a little bit like a mouse and I don't really want to do that. So this is an Alme color. This is, they have an eye enhancing line. Uh, this is to enhance green eyes. It's sort of a purpley color. Right on the top, I didn't do anything on the bottom. Always an angle brush for me. Smudge that line and I always brush it out and up just a little bit on the edges there, just that teensy tiny bit. Just give it that little flick. It's a very subtle flick. It's not, it's not gonna be harsh, not like what you get with liquid eyeliner. Not that you ever see me do liquid eyeliner because I'm blonde but I used to do it back in the day. And mascara, just on the upper lashes. I mean, you can do the bottom lashes if you want, but if you want to do what I did the other day, I didn't do any on the bottom lashes. Probably got a fair amount in my hair though, because I generally do. I kept my lips very simple. I've been on a lining kick now, thank you, since I did that one uh, tutorial where I did the totally overblown porn star lips. So now I'm on this like overblown porn star lips thing that I'll be on for about two weeks until I get over it. Are you ever like that? I'm like that. I just like, I grab onto a thing and that's my thing for a couple of weeks. And then, then I move on, I forget about it and I grab onto another thing. So now I'm doing porn star lips. I did not line them to that extent. I don't generally line them that big. That's, that's a great look sometimes, but it's a bit much. I do overdraw a little bit. I like a strong Cupid's bow, so I always start in the center. I know that not a lot of people do, but that's my thing. Ooh, it looks like I have a mustache. And then you always want to make sure that no matter how much you overdraw it, you bring it in at the corners. And some people start from the corners and go out. Some people start from the top and go in. 
I'll do it one way one time and the other way the other time. I have no absolutes about anything. It's that's absolutely my way. It's so on absolute. Now I put on last week I put on the Burt's Bees in Guava. Because I liked that frosty pink. I don't know if you can see, it's really, it's really frosty. So I liked that sort of lilac-y frosty pink with this peachy pink of the dress. But I felt like it was just nice for life, but too light for camera. And I was making a video, so uh, camera counts. So for life, this is what I do for camera. Added a little bit more pink. This is, I've used this before. It is strawberry. Yeah, I have no idea what that says. I think it says strawberry shortcake because I remember writing it, but yeah, this may something completely different. I have no idea what that says. I'll know once I edit this. Anyway, it's a total bubblegummy cotton candy pink that I don't usually choose because it's too bubblegummy cotton candy, but layering over this pastel color, it's gonna give me that, that extra oomph that I need. Oh, I'm going to take this call. Oh, I was just finishing up when the phone rang and it was a friend that I hadn't talked to in months and months and months, and so I took it so we could catch up. And uh, if there was a lighting change, I'm sorry, that's why. Grabbed the earrings that I had on the other day paid maybe a dollar or two for these a couple of years ago. I'm glad that I can finally legitimize their existence. They actually happen to match this dress that I got at the thrift store. There it is. Come on. Find it. There we go. All the way through the hole. There we go. So that is my uh, soft, romantic, girly girl sort of a summertime look. I should come up with some sort of better, more search engine optimized title for this. I never do that. I just call them whatever I think it is and you really should be better about that whole like Google search thing. Yeah, in time. I hope you have a fabulous weekend. I am going to uh, go for a hike now. Now that I've gotten my video making out of the way for the day, I'm going to go douse myself with sunscreen and get out there and, and go for a nice hike. You have a good weekend. I'll talk to you soon.